So in this example, we're creating this right here. We're creating this Gantt chart and we're taking this step by step. Now, this is a booklet that you can purchase online. Just see the description uh, for the URL. It's less than five bucks, but it'll allow you to um, have a PDF version of this and you can get the code. You can just copy and paste the code and stuff that I'm using like here. So if that works for you, great. If not, just watch the video and do screenshots. It's about the same thing. So, okay. So we're building this right here. So let's go ahead and jump to this. So we're building this Gantt chart. And inside of this Gantt chart, we need to change this color dynamically. But I don't want to change it manually. I want the computer to change it based on the status that I give to this column. And if you did not watch this video right here, just do a search on Google Lush and this number right here, you'll find this video. But basically what it does is asks you to create a column inside of SharePoint, a number column called status. So make sure that you have that column going because we're gonna, we're gonna lean on that in this example. So let's go ahead and go over to Power Apps and see what this looks like. So, <clears throat> And we're back in the document. And here we are. Okay, so this is the column right here. We want to change color. Let's go ahead and take that down here. And we're going to go ahead and look at um, that area here. All right. So this is just, just as an FYI, this is a gallery. There's not a whole lot about this. It's a gallery. We talk about this in other videos and on in other books. But... This is a gallery, basically, that we're displaying this information in, and that's where these labels and this taskbar right here is called label taskbar. Now, there are some equations here in start and follow up dates. You're going to have to look at the other videos. I, I don't go into them in this video, but but they're out there. So just look on my site. So and if you look under um, Power Apps playlist, it might be easier. You can see all this stuff. It's grouped together. But let's look at this one. So let's get down to the nut here. What is it? How is it that we're going to change this color to reflect this right here? And we're going to do that right here as explained. We're going to go to wherever the gallery is and the name of that. Now, I'm a big believer in naming things properly. This is a label that we've put in here. This is a label that we've used. Okay, so remember insert, um, whoops, classic text label. You can also use modern, but it's in a different spot. But right here, text label. That's what we're doing. Okay, and that's what this is. And we're going to click on, remember, it defaults to your properties here. But notice here, I have different code in here. And the fill value is also one of these codes. To get to the fill value, we're going to go to the advanced tab. Now, we can just search right here for fill. And we're going to see the fill value right here. And when we click on it, you can see the value here. So it, what I'm doing is I'm saying if the status, remember this list that we created here, right? We created this field. So if that is equal to one and that this is a manual entry, if it's equal to one, then I'm going to change it to here. If it's equal to two, then I'm going to change it to this color. And if it's equal to three, I'm going to change it to this color. Otherwise, I'm going to keep it at this color. Now, right now, we don't have the status field hooked up. So you can see all of them are this color right here, the default. Okay, so where do we see that here? If we want to see that, we can see that here as well. If we go into this label and then we can just click, we can just whoops, type in fill, all right? And then if we pull this bad boy down, we can see the formula there and um, or we can see it right there as one complete if statement. If statements, <clears throat> remember when you're writing them, it's if this condition exists, comma, if this condition exists, comma, if this ex condition exists, comma. And so we can just keep going with if statements. It's not an if. It's a series of ifs followed by a then. 
So if you're used to coding that way, these are all of the if statements. If this, do this. If this, do this. If this, do this. And then do this. All right. And then you can see all the closing of the parentheses there. That's all you need to do with if. And you can extend that if statement out. You can just keep going. Right. And you can use this knowledge now that you have on creating an if statement uh, to multiple areas of your programming. So anyway, so that's what we've done. That's that is the complexity of it, of how to create this fill to change its color. Good luck.